right uh, hello everyone um, welcome back to java for beginners today we are going to look into java swing app development <coughs> we are going to design a program a simple java ui program this is the eclipse version we are going to use uh, Eclipse ID uh, 2022. I think we were having a. Okay, let me create one. Uh, workspace. I don't know whether we already have it here. Okay, this is our workspace, and I'm going to launch it. Still loading. I think for those who are following us uh, from via the video, they may not see what we have written in the. Okay, no problem. We can still develop the one there. Right, it has launched the Eclipse uh, environment for us, and I can either close this and we'll say hide. All right, so this is the version of Eclipse I have. Let me magnify for you to see what I'm having. Uh, this is the environment. This new version comes along with this uh, under the project explorer. It brings this. You can exit it if you don't want it. Uh, you need to pay attention on the perspective of the Eclipse you are using. You need to check on the perspective. It has to be Java perspective. Not any other perspective will work for you since you are working in, on uh, Java SE. If it is Java EE, you come to Java EE here, the perspective. So this is the perspective and when you select you see it has changed to the perspective here as java 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 se and, and also here changed so you can click on create java project or you come to file and click on uh, create java is same thing java new java what java project and the dialog box comes out for you to specify the uh, name of the project and other specifications for the project. So here, for the name of the project, let's give it a uh, LGA staff recruiting uh, C registration, for example. All right, and here it's asking me about the. JRE execution environment. Uh, I I have JDK 18, so it has selected JDK 17 automatically. Uh, I can leave it, or if I want to develop with a lower JDK version, I select K 
click and select the kind of JDK. Here is JDK 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, JDK 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, so the JDK it has mentioned. I've chosen to use the JDK mentioned by the system. Then you click on you click on either next to look at the next window. It's telling you some specifications, library and all that. You don't know, just go by the default here, click on finish. Unless if you want it uh, developed somewhere a different from you. Maybe you want it in a different folder. And here it's asking you about uh, uh, this is a new JDK, I mean, new ID. Actually, other IDs are not asking about these uh, modules. If you want to create modules, you can, you can. If you don't, you just say no. You don't need any module. So, it has created the project. Now, let us create a class. You right click and go to class. So it's going to create class for you. You know, we have to put into consideration those things that will enable us to come up with or to, to create the, the GUI. So here, let me say uh, name of the class, let's say staff rage. Staff registration, for example, or enrollment, if you like. Staff enrollment, this is the name of the class. Then it's asking you about modifiers. For those who have attended our console pro classes, they know about all these modifiers. We're going to create a class to uh, treat about the modifiers for those who are who are new. And then of course it has to be public since it is a class and you may be use you may be calling it or accessing it from other portions of the project or from other resources. Then here it asks about the static method. Of course, we need void main method. And we also need constructor. Alright? So that is it. Then you click on finish. So class has been created. Uh, but if you run this class, this class cannot really give you GIL. This is a console. This is this is a, a, a class that gives you console. So how do you make it GIL? If I click to run, okay, nothing has been written even. So let's write something. Before then, let's understand that this is a class and this is the delimit the delimiter. It starts from where I've clicked to here and look at it here. Public class. Staff enrollment. This is the name of the class. This is the identifier, and this is a keyword, and this is the specifier. That is the modifier. It tells you that it's the public class, that it can be accessed throughout the projects, and this is the class keyword. And we all know those ones who have uh, attended our console class have known about this. So. This is the end of the what? End of the class. And this is the main method. I've chosen to, to work with main method in this class. That's why the IDE has, has already uh, inserted the main method. So you now say end of the main, main method. So what do we do in the main method? When we, anything written in the main method is going to be re-executed. So I want to test whether this class is actually working correctly or not. So I'm going to write something here. Sees out, for example. System.out.println. What's happening? Welcome to Java Jew, for example. 
And you know, this is where we call constructor. You, you will very soon, you, you're going to see the, the functions of constructor. The main function for, uh, of constructor is to enable the initialization of components in the program. Initialization and of the constructor. And as you can see, constructor of any given class constructor of any given class takes the name of the class. This is the only object that is enabled to text the name of the class the way it is written. Otherwise, no any other object text name of class in Java. It takes the name of the class, but it is a method. It's a specialized method, and it is called constructor. So I'm going to run this. So when you run, this is a console app. The result of this will be displayed here. Welcome to Java, GUI, for example. So now let's start the actual thing. That means our class is okay and the project and class are you know, uh, created correctly or yes, we've created the class correctly and the class is working. So what do we do? In console app, you write here, but in G, what you do is to call the, the object of the class here. And what is the object of the class? New. Anytime you hear about this keyword, new, this is the object of the class. So when you run, it executes everything for you. Now, to the class declaration, for you to have a GIL, you need to uh, modify the declaration of the class. Public class, class name, the class name here is staff enrollment. Then you now say extends, 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 sorry. You know in Java, if you want to inherit a given class, this is the keyword, extends. Extends what? JFrame. JFrame is a class in Java, a built-in class that contains those properties that will enable you to come up with a development of GUI. So if you inherit JFrame, that means your class will resemble or will get the properties or will, will actually acquire properties of what JFrame into it. Are we there? Yes. So then the 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 error message here, or the, the red line you see here, is telling you to do what? To import the JFrame library, which is from where? From Swing. Can you now see you've started seeing Swing? So if you click, it will import it for you. And the import says what? Import Javax. Swing is always Javax. Javax that swing that spring. Okay, so you continue to see many components that are coming from where? From JFrame. So now we've we are done with this now. Uh, so let's specify what we wanted. The first thing is we need a panel. Okay, private J panel. Then you give it name. This is the object variable, and this is the class J panel. It's also giving you error message that because you have not imported what panel from where from JFrame. Can you see what I'm doing now? Th this to tell you that if if I'm going to have like 100 J panels or 100 a uh, component from from Swing, that means I'm going to import how many? 100 component, right? Which actually is going to take time. It's going to occupy space. So what do we do? Let us now import everything from from Swing instead of importing panel. Okay, let me let me let me import another thing so you understand what we what we mean by that. So if you look at what we're having on board, we have. 
we have what name, staff, and for the name we have two things. We have label and what? Text field. Label and text field. Right? So now private J label. LBL name. This is the convention if you are using Swing. So you private. I don't know the mouse is misbehaving. Can you see also another error message? If you click on it, it tells you to do what? To import J label. So that's how they con continue to be imported. But then you can remove all this and import everything from Japan. Even though some are saying that uh, that is having is really making the system slow because you are importing many many classes so if i say this dot what asterisk so i am importing the entire swing what classes the libraries of, of swing so no anyone will, will complain anymore if it is actually from so j j label j label what Staff, staff ID, for example, then private J label J label what? Let me just stop here so we don't. Let me say LGA of origin, right? LGA of origin. Maybe this is going to be origin. Is it, is it how it's spelled? Yes. Origin. The next we need, we need what? J tax field. This is another class. J tax field. J tax field. And this one we call it TXT. What? Name? TXT what? Staff ID. TXT what? Huh? LGA of origin. I think I'm done with that. So next, we need to specialize. I mean, we need to initialize, rather, sorry. We need to initialize all these components within the constructor. So how? The first thing is you initialize your panel. So I can now pick panel equals to new J panel. That is one. The next uh, LBL name equals to new J label. You know, this is the this is the label user C while he's interacting, who he or she interacting with your system. So you need to define what user sees. At this uh, component level, you may say name, something like this, or staff name, or anything. Then LBL LBL staff I don't know why it is not doing uh, intelligence staff ID equals to new J label I mean this maybe okay this I did not write LBL right LBL the 
in fact there is no even LB on there let me just copy and paste it so we don't first time staff ID and LBL even here I did not write LBL right LBL LGA origin new okay we will now see LGA of origin next then J level, thank you. So for the tax field, you now see TXT TXT name equals to new J tax field. Here you only specify the length of the TXT. You are not going to give it any level, but the length. Let's say 15 characters. TXT staff ID equals to new. Here also, let's see. But the staff ID is not all that. Anyway, let's give it 15. It should be uniform. TXT local government of origin equals to new J tax rule. Let's see 15. Then we are done with that. Well, then we now we, we, we start adding component on J panel. The first component we are going to add on J panel, I mean on J frame is the J panel itself. Okay? So let me add, let me now say this dot add panel. Right? Add what panel. I'm adding panel. Hey, what's happening? So I've added only one component, but then the system will not be displayed. I mean, the, the interface will not be displayed until when you say this, the set, what? Visible. It is a boolean value. You now say what? Through. So if you run it, you see only panel on it only J panel. Can you see it here? And it's coming from nothing is on it. Nothing. So let's try to give it kind of dimension. That is size. This is the set set size. This is the set set size. In the given dimension, let me say uh, 200 by 150, for example, it's in pixels. So if you run it now, it will be larger than it is, or oh, larger, larger than it was. Can you see? Where is it coming out from this left side? And no title written. So let's give it title. This is your JFrame you and panel on it. Only. No component is added. So you now say this the set title. What is the title? Huh? Let's say LGA staff. Enrollment change is double L. Enrollment up. 
So if you run it now, let's run it now. If you run it, can you see it's it's actually running, right? But it's, I can I will have to give it more width, right? So let's make it 500 by. Let's even let's try to understand which is which. The first value is the one giving you the width. Okay? And the second value is the one giving you the height. So let's let's make it appear from the side of from, from let's see these dot. This is the set location relative to now. We just know it. So this will make it appear from the center portion of the. Okay, it's still appearing there. Let me see. Okay, it's not complete. Location relative to. This is local, not location. This is the one I wanted. When you know it, Yusuf. Kadia Kabash will learn packages. I don't know. Kabun. Go on the guest. You should go through it. Now, well. All right, so when you run. Can you see it appears where? At the center portion of your walk or the screen? I can see many of you sleeping. You don't live here. You have to do this before you leave this CCLTT. You must develop it, I'm telling you, with different information. Why are you sleeping? <laughs> are you guys. Or is it the way that are the windows open or shall we increase the I think this is the last. <laughs> you can see many of you sleeping. <laughs> so now we didn't add anything now. So let me add the first component there, which is the label. So here I've added component on. What you do is you add all your component on label and label on panel. So if you pick, you now say panel, panel dot add. Add a given component here. What component is it? The first component is LB, LBL, LBL name. You see, this is this is this is where you begin actually. You start from here. Maybe after like two, three times using this, then we will start doing what we call drag and drop. Because that is, I know that's virtually all of you what they are actually looking for. Can you see what we have here? Only label comes out so now after label you put in what you add the what the txt right so let us let's add everything txt this is how you add, do add label for a given component then txt follow right then let me do for the right for the three is it three or two com other components LBL LBL what I think stuff and then TST stuff then LBL LG right then TXT LG right as you can see i'm very slow because i don't want uh, can you see what happened because of the sizing no level we don't have we don't have any layout manager here but if i drag it maybe from here i'll understand how to do it can you see what i'm doing maybe something like this Or, 
by the time we reach layout manager, it will arrange it for us itself. Okay, maybe if I do this something like this, it's okay. So I have to reduce this to maybe 400. Hundred and fifty. Then, okay, let's see for eighty. Okay, that means I have to increase even the store reduction rather than increment. All right. So you see this, we may use this because there is no layout manager. And then we're going to add a button here. Maybe let me stop here, then we continue with adding button next in the next video. the system is so slow. What is happening? Okay, sorry.